right, we're back for a second. I did pop this one open. This was David's 98. And uh, there's been no trickery, hackery, butchery. Pretty much like out of the box. Just the conversion. I don't like what's up with the knobs. I think that was just in shipping. I'm not going to pull the tape back, but that one's pulled out. These are pushed in. As you can notice in the other video how the squelch was turning, so that's got to be taken care of. The switch was put in there. There's no spread coils. Soldering all looks decent. Just very basic, simple. Nothing else. Probably just a simple tune. And we'll look at the positions. But what got me, because like the first thing that's normally done on these is this is disconnected you know well, I, there's various ways you could tune these but when I got over here and seeing the scratches made me think okay I don't know what's up but maybe this will help you guys with, that have some of these I don't normally see this but if you look close you see a whole bunch of little specks metal specks and shavings right down inside of here camera view you can see them in there see them and all these things it's all metal shavings all over the place now mind you it's not going to be that critical on this radio it's not it's not good but the surface mount radio is bad but and this is something that I've run across I can't tell you how many times and it's aggravating Right, is this. Right, see this one? Yeah, right? Okay, but you come over here I'm totally stripped. Okay, I had one clown try to play some games on me here not long ago because of that. So anyways, that's a real pain in the ass. So let's just do this on camera. I'm not going to work on this one right now. But while I got it out, because it's going to go back in the box, and it's going to be a while before I get to this. I'm way behind, even on new radios. I'm just popping them out left and right, though. So, let's see. Let's try this. I'm not a machine shop here, you know. So if it snaps off, it snaps off. It comes out, it comes out. There we go. Maybe some of you guys learned a little trick there, huh? <clears throat> Here we get it out now. Yeah, it's totally stripped. At least this one didn't snap off, you know? So anyways, let's uh, do a little bit of check while we're at it. The screws like this get tossed in the garbage. They don't come out no matter what here. As long as they don't... You know, really hack them up on the way in, but if the bias or the bolt gate voltage was set, then someone took this lid off. If not, it came out of the factory that way. You never know what you're gonna get, like a box of chocolates sometimes. Uh, it looks new, never replaced, never blown up, nothing like that. Looks like a 98 BHP. something up real quick here. Give me a moment. Some more stuff out of the way. I wasn't prepared to do this. But I'll do this real quick. Even setting the voltages, sometimes with these, and these ain't they look like a, a an N2, but they're not. They're different parts. Ranger uses better parts. Hold on a second here. Alright. Uh, okay, where'd you go? I'm just have to do this a little bit differently. Factory, they really come out like four and a quarter, four seventy-five, way too high.
pass wide open. Plug in up here. That's what we're doing right there. I'm not going to go to get it all in there. Maybe. But, uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, so bear with me. It's going to be a little tricky. I don't like the smoke flying, you know what I mean? So I'll just see what it is. And this affects sideband drastically. And we're on the antenna. So anyways, yeah, 483, yeah. God only knows how it got to this point like this, and I got my camera on a strange angle, but anyways, unmodulated, this bank, as you can see, it's warming up, it's already dropping. It was 43, now it's 476. Let me check this one. 50, okay? That's why it's getting so damn hot. Now, I don't know why the screw is stripped. I'm not pointing any fingers. All I can tell you is pay attention. Stay tuned in.